Now, the WGAL News 8 Storm Team Forecast with meteorologist Matt Moore. Well, we are not seeing anything like that here in the Susquehanna Valley, but we are tracking some rainfall here as we go into and through the weekend itself, in particular on Sunday being the day uh, that could be pretty soggy for us. Uh, right now, though, it's dry, and we have filtered sunshine as we take a live look from our Lebanon Skycam. It's a lot of those high and mid-level clouds right now. You can still see the ball of sun up there, uh, but it is definitely being filtered by those clouds currently. It's 56 in Lebanon with the uh, air temperature. Dew points are up a little bit, starting to see them climbing uh, now that we're starting to track a, a system getting closer to us with some rain chances on the way up here going into the weekend. Right now, though, no rain locally. In fact, just a lot of those high and mid-level clouds with temperatures mainly in the upper 50s and low 60s. And we'll head up to about the low to mid 60s and in some cases uh, on the high side, maybe the upper 60s, but still milder or at average here for the afternoon temps with partly sunny skies throughout the day. Filter sunshine, what you see now is what you'll likely get through the rest of today. Then into tonight, some uh, those high and mid-level clouds actually clear out a little bit for us. We'll drop things down to the mid 40s tonight and then tomorrow is a cooler day uh, around 60 for that high temperature and what might actually start off as some sunshine tomorrow will likely give way to just plain overcast skies uh, into the afternoon, certainly uh, by afternoon, could be even uh, by later in the morning hours, and even some light rain chances as we go into later the afternoon and evening as we wait for a warm front to lift through. Now, we've been talking about how much we needed the rainfall, and believe it or not, despite the fact that the last week we've gotten in some places more than two inches of rain in the last week, we still could use a little bit more rain so that uh, the drought monitor takes into account not just surface moisture, but also deep down under the surface, the groundwater table, and because because of that and still being dry here across some of our very far southeastern locations, still in a moderate drought in those uh, orange colors. Yellow otherwise just means, hey, it's dry but not considered a drought. So we still could technically use a little bit of rain and we're going to get that as we go into the weekend. Here's our system and it actually has a little bit of tropical moisture that's associated with it. In fact, a newly formed tropical depression here in the Gulf of Mexico, so number 17, will be uh, interacting with this system and being drawn north. So that could actually enhance rainfall rates, not just here in the Susquehanna Valley, but all up and down the eastern seaboard as that uh, storm system makes its way farther to the north and east. So again, tonight clearing things out temporarily. We will see more clouds building back in as we go into the day tomorrow. Here's a look at that turning overcast and again, chance of a shower, but it looks like very low chances overall, even just mainly a couple of sprinkles here and there. Better chance for rain though on Sunday. So here comes our storm system. Light rain and drizzle Sunday morning could be turning heavier at times as, as the storm system and the cold front itself sweep through and we will eventually see the rain shutting off later in the day on Sunday. But rainfall amounts could be uh, somewhat impressive here across the area and could ballpark over an inch. You can see that there on predictor. It is possible, not out of the question. So again, Sunday, a soggy one. Monday, a dry day and we'll cloud back up into the rest of the week. Even some shower and rain chances once again as we head into Halloween itself. So that is very important. Trick or treaters watching that forecast closely could change. So we'll uh, keep you up to date on that forecast as we go. All right, looking okay tonight for the World Series. It looks in great DC. in DC, not only in DC, but if you're having watch parties here in the valley, it should be fine. All right, very good.